Okay, in this problem, we're given a tank that has a maximum volume of 100 gallons, and initially there's some 40 gallons of water in there with a mixture of 10 pounds of salt. As we can see, there's a rate into this tank of 3 gallons per minute with a concentration of 1 pound of salt per gallon in that incoming liquid. And then the tank is mixed and leaves at a rate out of 1 gallon per minute. And we're asked to find the amount of salt in the tank when it's about to overflow. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is look at how the rate of change in volume happens. So, we know that the rate of change of volume is simply the rate in minus the rate out. So, we get 2 gallons per minute. And now we can find the volume at any given time by anti-differentiating. We get 2t plus c. And we know that initially there's 40 gallons in the tank. So times 0 is going to equal 40. And we get that c equals 40. So v of t equals 2t plus 40. Now we're also going to want to know the time at which the tank is about to overflow. And we know that the volume when it's about to overflow is 100, so we can solve for t. we see that t equals 30 when it's about to overflow. So we know that after 30 minutes, the tank will be full. OK, so now we're going to let x of t denote the amount of salt in the tank at time t. So we want to look at the rate of change in x. So the rate of change coming in of salt is simply the rate in times the concentration, so we have 3 pounds per minute, minus the rate out, which is 1 gallon per minute out, times the concentration out, which is our unknown x, over the volume at any given time, which is 2t plus 40. And now this is just a differential equation, which we can solve using our integrating factor. I'm going to let dx dt be x prime. Bring the x over to this side. And we have that x prime equals 1 over 2t plus 40 times x equals 3. Now we're going to let our integrating factor be e to the power of the integral of this p of t dt. And this is just a simple integral, which we can calculate as e to the 1 half natural log of 2t plus 40. Using the power of natural, or using uh, the rules of natural log, we can bring this 1 half as a power, and we see that we get e to the natural log of 2t plus 40 
to the power of one half. And this just simply reduces to two t plus forty to the one power of one half. Okay. So now we're going to solve for x of t using the integrating factor. We get that 2t plus 4a to the power of 1 half times x prime equals 3 times 2t plus 40 to the power of 1 half. Anti-differentiate both sides with respect to t. left-hand side of the equation is just 2t plus 40 to the power of 1 half times x. And then the right-hand side is going to be a nice easy integral. We get 2t plus 40 to the power of 3 halves plus some constant c. So now we're just going to solve for x and multiply by 2t plus 40 to the power of negative 1 half. Multiply this first term. We see that when we add the exponents, um, we get 2t plus 40 to the power of 3 halves plus negative 1 half, which is simply 2 halves. So this is just 2t plus 40, and then c times c times 2t plus 40 to the negative 1 half is the last term. Okay, so now we can use our initial conditions where we know that there are 10 pounds of salt in the tank initially. So plug in t equals 0 and solve for C. And this just becomes 0 plus 40. we see that c is equal to negative 30 times 40 to the power of 1 half. So we get 
our x of t is equal to 2t plus 40 minus 30 times 40 to the power of 1 half times 2t plus 40 to the power of negative 1 half. Now we want to find out the salt of the amount of salt in the tank when it's about to overflow. And we already know that it's about to overflow when t equals 30. So we can just plug in t equals 30. So that last part says 2 times 30 plus 40. And when we solve this, this out, we get that x of 30 is about 81 pounds of salt. So there will be 81 pounds of salt when the tank is about to overflow.